up everyone, Liam here and welcome back to another video on my channel. As you might be able to tell, my voice is starting to go slightly and that's because I'm now in my third straight week of coaching on summer camps and all the talking I've been doing and all the shouting for drills and explanations of activities, keeping all the kids engaged with the summer camp has obviously got to my voice and it's starting to go now. But after this week, I'll be done with summer camps. I'll have two weeks free of rest until I go to university. Today's video is probably the most requested video I've had on my channel yet, and that is a day in the life of my coaching. That is straight from seven o'clock in the morning when I wake up, right through to the end of the day, you will be following me to see what I get up to in a full day of my life. Part of that video is obviously something you all know by now, you've all been requesting so much, both through the comments on my videos and on summer camps you've been coming up to me and to asking me to do one specific thing which you will all be able to see as part of this video. So I don't want to make this intro too long, I want to get straight into it so you can follow my day in the life of a football coach. So if you like this video make sure to leave it a like, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and share my content with your friends and family to get as many people involved with this channel as possible. Also make sure to check out my social media pages, that being my Facebook page, Liam Davis Coaching, and also my Instagram, which is also Liam Davis Coaching. But without further ado, let's get straight into a day of my life. So I wake up anywhere between 7 and quarter past 7 in the morning and take about 5 or 10 minutes just to get myself up out of bed. And by that time, then I need to get myself ready, stuff like getting changed, the right sort of uniform to go to work, obviously changing out of my dressing gown and obviously getting in the right mood ready for work. By that time, about 25 to 8 or about half past 7 around that time, it is time for me to get some breakfast. And it's important for me to have a pretty decent amount of food at breakfast time so that I've got enough energy to see me through until dinner time. Also, I'll leave a link here to my social medias, my Instagram and my Facebook, so you can keep checking in with all the content I'm uploading on there. But also, of course, with my breakfast tea here, I've got to have a cup of tea. That is just absolutely standard. Once I've made my cup of tea, have a sit down and watch the news on TV right before work. After I've had my breakfast, then about 8 o'clock, I've got to clean my teeth and do my hair. All of the normal things that I'd usually do just to prepare myself the final few things just before then heading off to work at about 20 past 8. Here you'll see me now doing my hair which takes me probably longer than you'd expect. I was got to get the hair right, it's got to be absolutely perfect. I usually use powder in my hair and I try not to use too much but especially if I know it's going to rain for the rest of the day I usually try and put a bit more powder in just so that my hair doesn't look extremely messy in work. Once I then clean my teeth and done my hair, all the things like that, I've got to get all my equipment ready to take to camp. That includes the flags for games such as Clapton Flag and World Cup. Then I've got to get my shoes on and also don't forget I've got to take the speaker because that is absolutely crucial. Obviously when the kids want to hear music on camp, it's crucial to remember the speaker. And once I've got my bag, speaker and all of the equipment ready, I head out ready to start the day at work. So I arrive at work at about half past eight in the morning and as of the last three weeks that has been football camps so it's straight down to the field at our venue which is Penakai Football Club. Make sure we have all the right equipment for the day's activities and as you can see here on Monday which is the day I recorded we had World Cup theme games such as capture the flag and World Cup football matches at the end of the day as an overall football theme of World Cup in different countries so that we would have a winning country at the end of the day and the winning team got pictures taken with their trophy so it got a bit of competition for the kids on cam just to work towards that end goal of being able to lift the trophy with their team. Here is a briefing of how a day would usually run on one of our camps starting with 9 o'clock we are briefing with all campers, morning activity starting at quarter past 9 which then moves into snack time, skill of the day with group activities, dinner time and finishing off with tournaments at the end of the day. Once the day is done at 3 o'clock we clean up until about half past 3 so all the equipment is gone and by that time I can head off back home and get home usually between half past 3 and 4 o'clock. Thank you. 
So once I get home about four o'clock, I usually try and get some small jobs done for my mum before she comes home from work, as usually my mum and dad will get home between half past five and six o'clock, so it just makes sense for me to do a few small jobs for them, such as letting a dog out and taking him for a walk, and then also doing a bit of washing and stuff like that, so it just saves them doing a few small jobs when they get home. There is the odd day where I'd get home and I'm that tired that I'd usually just fall asleep, but on the odd occasion when I'm feeling energetic, I try and get as many jobs done as possible as it just helps my mum and dad out. And obviously I won't do that every day because, you know, some days I'm just too tired and fall asleep, which I guess you could say is my fault and it really is my fault. But when I am awake, when I get home from work, I do try and do as many jobs as possible. So once all the washing is on, I'm then going to put all the flags in as well. So while all the washing is done, we get all the washing into the tumble dryer, let that dry off, and then I can put all of the flags from the day's activities into the wash. Obviously with the current situation of coronavirus, it is crucial that we wash all the equipment, especially flags that the kids have been holding in games like Capture the Flag. They all get taken home at the end of the day and put in the washing machine so that they are clean and ready for the next day at camp. So after everything is done with the equipment, washing it and putting it in the tumble dryer, I'll make myself another quick cup of tea and of course I've got to use the Monster Zinc mug, the Mike Wazowski mug which is a classic in my house. Once I've had that cup of tea, I'll go back and see to my dog to check up on him again, make sure he's dried off after his walk and that he's all good. And once he seems to be playing around with his blanket and he's all good, I can then get myself ready for football training. I usually have two sessions of football training a week, one on a Wednesday with the first team at Rose and one on a Thursday with the under 19s. Training on Wednesdays at 5.30 got me pretty wet this week so after that I got myself a nice warm shower and then I got myself dry after the shower, obviously then got changed and had some chicken and pesto pasta. After I had then had my chicken and pesto pasta which I forgot to record, I got myself a chocolate magnum which was pretty tasty. So after I have football training, I'll usually play some video games with my mates. And as this has been one of the most requested things for me to do on a video, I thought I would play some Fortnite. For this video, we are going to play 10 rounds of Zone Wars with my good friends Owen, Bobby and Ben, all who seem to have the same name on PlayStation and I'm not part of their clan, which they made like years ago. And they can't obviously now change their PlayStation name, so they've just got to try and keep those names for now. Chance. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. Here it comes! Ah. Ah. Jesus is a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me.
Eh? Where am I? He's listening to I'm Blue on an Android. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Gotta hit your shots, kid. Last time I checked, oh yeah, you didn't hit your shots. <laughs> you better stop! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! So after having a decent session of video games with my mates, about 9 o'clock or anywhere between half 8 and 9 o'clock, I'll start editing one of my YouTube videos which will be going up in the next few days. What you see here now is me actually editing the video which you're watching right now, which was quite a bit of a longer video than usual because there was so much more to edit and so many more clips, especially the section on Fortnite which I had to edit included so many more clips which I had to then cut down fit to the right size and then crop the images as well just to make it seem a bit more realistic in the gameplay. As it gets towards though the end of my editing about 11 o'clock I'll finish up, turn my computer off, clean my teeth, all that good stuff and then put on my retainers which I still have now to this day wear after having my braces taken off about three years ago but it's all for a good cause and at about half 11 I'm finally done for the day and I'll go straight to bed. So, thank you all for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed following me through a day of my life and that you also enjoy finding out a bit more about me and what I get up to any usual day of my life. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like, also make sure to subscribe to the channel and share my content with your friends and family to get as many people involved with these videos as possible. Obviously now, I am two weeks away from moving into university in Birmingham, so the videos will be coming to a stop at that time, but as I get into university, who knows, I might start to make more videos and it'll be a little bit different and some new content for you all to watch whilst I am in Birmingham. Apart from that, also make sure to check out Progressive Sports' things on social media as obviously we're running summer camps right now which are soon to be coming to an end this week. But make sure all the posts they are putting up and stay tuned for the coming terms in schools as we might have some after school clubs running and obviously you can get yourself involved or for any parents watching, you can get your child involved if there is going to that school. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.